Well, back at the shop, back at Mike the Truck Nut HQ, and look at low and slow. What do you think? Those are some funky wheels, man. Look at that. I haven't seen them in a while. Gosh, those look good. They look so good. And you know what? With the stainless caps, I like it. I got to get that cab painted though. And you know what? If we have to, we'll put them on smoky. But I, I don't know, man. I really like them on low and slow. Look at that. It, it just, gosh, they just pop. But um, yeah, anyways, dad says there's a shop update. So shop update. Lights, lights, lights into the shop. Oh boy. Dad wasn't kidding when he said shop update. He's got the axle out of, out of stubby. Look, wow. Wow. Look at that. So the, that's the front axle out. Wow, does that ever look different? Holy cadoodle. Holy cadoodle. I'm all, I'm kind of, I'm kind of speechless. Not going to lie. Still don't have a transmission in there, but that's, it's a work in progress. That's, um, wow. We got to stand back here. Stand back and soak it all in. If I can get back far enough. <laughs> it actually looks kind of, looks kind of goofy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like it, guys. I don't know if I can handle it being so stubbly. Bench is kind of in the way. I mean, it looks, it looks so different. Looks good, actually. Oh, it's so nice to have the cab down on it again. Look at how good Stubby looks. You know, this truck, it's such a good truck. Well, I think it's a good truck. So, I think it's a good truck. And maybe, you know, I know I said we're going to put that 18 speed in. And we were going to single it out. But when you look at these rails, and I mean, we have the complete diff. It doesn't look terrible. You know, corrosion wise, we got some scaling in there, but it's not bad. Um, is that, it looks like, well, maybe there's a screen in there. I don't know. It looks a little bit dirty in there, but, uh, But, so what I'm saying is, this, this diff looks good. <sighs> Silicone there. Um, yeah, so we could put that diff here if we wanted to quite easily. And we could make it a tandem. Maybe we should do that. What do you think, guys? Should we just make them into a tandem? Because with, with the way it's already squared off, it would be super easy to insert them. Keep uh, keep that hose <laughs> keep that hose length. Keep it this length so your join would be between. I don't know. We'll see what Dad says. Dad's you know Dad's thinking maybe we should make him a tandem and stretch his frame out. That that might be the fun thing to do. Because. <laughs> We've got the diff, and I mean, it's a dual locker, so, you know, stretch them out a little bit, and uh, so he's not so stubbly, so stubbly bubbly. I think that would work, but boy, does it ever look weird, eh, guys? It looks so weird. And the great thing about this truck is with this being... Um, a single frame like 
you know, yeah, it's got pock marks from from the rust and stuff, but uh, and it right here is kind of bad because of the uh, the deck that was on it. But we could sandblast it. We could even fill that, like just use like a body filler. But <laughs> don't mind that. But really, we'll sandblast it and paint it. You know, put new brackets on up here for this this uh, air tank bracket because that one's kind of janky. And uh, we'll sandblast them, put that 18 speed in them, and uh, yeah. So we just need to find some rails for Dad. But look at how good it looks with the cab back down. I can't get over it. It looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. But uh, see, and Dad thinks this thing was in a in a wreck or like a front end hit because of that. But I don't. I don't know. I don't know is what I'm saying, but wow, does that ever look different? Looks so different. Yeah, I'm trying to get back here and get a ah, bird's eye perspective. Actually, maybe I'll move that welder out of the way. There we go. That's better. Ah, yeah, you know what? It's going to look kind of dorky as a single axle. I don't know. I'll have to talk to dad, but maybe, maybe we should just make them into a tandem and we'll put the front axle there and we'll add on to the frame. But, uh, definitely looks different. <laughs> looks really different. So anyways, update on stubby. Ugh, stubby's one axle less. Stubby's one axle less. And smoky. Well, Smokey is coming along slowly. Still have to put this panel in, but I think that's the next thing to do. So, it's going to be exciting. So exciting! There's my panel. I just have to sand it and uh, clean up some more. And yeah, then we can start putting this one back together. So, yep. And who knows, maybe by next summer, we can do a tour. Maybe I could spend the summer like touring to shows on weekends instead of working on trucks all weekend. That might be fun. We'll see how it goes though. But uh, yeah, this is wild. Just wild. Dad's been busy while I've been away. So made some great progress. Bring a new life to these old gals. And you know what? At the end of the day, that's what this channel is all about. You know, it's not about how fancy or how big or how much money you have or, you know, because let's face it, if a guy had lots of money, it'd be easy to build big fancy show trucks. But it's about saving the life of forgotten cab overs. You know, I still don't have the registration for this truck. I'm going to get one, one way or another, but... Uh, it's a waiting game, but you know, it, it could go for scrap, but why scrap it? There's, they don't make them anymore. They don't make 362s anymore. So why not do what we're doing? You know, I know I said it was going to be a single axle with an 18 speed, but maybe dad's right. Cause I mean the tail frame, we're going to have to do something with the tail frame anyways to add a taper. So yeah, maybe, maybe we just buy a couple of chunks of rail. Welder together, put a little insert in there for uh, rigidity. I don't know. We'll have to see. Certainly be easy enough to do. And by easy, I mean, you know, several dozen hours of work. But uh, but hey, there there is no finish line. Like, what is the finish line? It's whenever you decide that it's good. So, but yeah, it's saving these trucks because they're special, in my opinion. You know, anybody can go buy a new one and work it. But these are its just a, a lost era. And I think as time goes on, it's going to be more and more um, lost, I guess. So, yeah, that's my, that's my deep thought for the day, man. So, <sighs> anyways, guys, that's it for me. What do you think of Stubby? Should we just make him into a tandem now? 
or should we keep going with the single axe route? Leave a note down in the comments, tell me what you think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace, cheers, later. I'm out of here. Yeah, I love these trucks.